Dr. Gabriel Benaku is chairman of the Coalition of NGOs in Health. He joins me via Zoom on this development. What does this new development mean? Yeah, good afternoon, Aisha and your team. And uh, good afternoon to the various uh, ministers who are involved in the COVID-19 fight and the National Tax Force and every health worker in the country. We thank them for the continuous uh, effort. What we just mean is that we have to double out our effort. What it also means is that our scientists must be supported to also come out with otherwise. What it also means is that we need to ensure equity and accessibility of the testing so that we can use that as the basis to plan ahead in, in Ghana. And that is why the Ghana Coalition of NGO Health over the last two months has been calling for the institutionalization of a control program for coronavirus. That is the surest way to go. I'm not a virologist. I cannot talk much about the mutation of the virus, but I can talk about community and the sociological aspect of the public health. When you have a community spread and your effort was focused on a certain limited mode of transmission and you have intensified your effort there and there's a new finding that try to nullify the effort you have made, what it just simply means is that you need to get back to the drawing board we need to update our national guidelines on the COVID-19. We need to scale up interventions across the country, and we need to get more people involved in this fight. Uh, this comes as a worrying uh, news, but is our policy geared towards uh, protecting people from airborne spread as it is right now? No, even right now with this new discovery, what it means is that you and I, even in the studio, you are not safe. What it means is that when you are after your news and you, you, you get down and you are moving, uh, you are not safe. That's the implication of this new discovery. Especially when you, you have to meet over 100 people in a particular time. Then you have asymptomatic people who can be coughing and who can be releasing their droplets or can be re releasing some vapor or air that could have potential of suspending. And that could also have the implication of you uh, getting access to it on your surface, either by your forehead or by your hands, or even by your dress when the condition is right. So all that I'm saying is that we need to re-strategize. The protocols that Ghana developed with this new development must be modified. We must add some strategies to it, and we must update it to ensure that various institutions are also getting this update and influence them to be able to enforce their protocol. We think that it is very important for a national program for coronavirus. Well, um, you talk about how uh, dangerous it is for workplaces, for instance. Is it still safe to have children gather in poorly ventilated classrooms given the development? Even before that, it was not safe. And we expected the Ministry of Health in collaboration with the Ghana Education Service to have put in place a lot of infrastructure modification in the various schools which has not been done now. And with this new development, uh, we, are, we don't have any power to say that schools should be closed down. But the Ministry of Health and Ghana Education Service, for that matter, Ministry of Education, must have a closed door meeting with the virologists and some experts, including we, the civil society, the Ghana Medical Association, the uh, nurses and midwifery, and other stakeholders. Let's look at what are the hotspots? What are the most likely places that can really 
uh, harbor the, the virus? And what can we do as different groups? Let's get these things back again, just like the way we started in, in March. We slipped somewhere along the line, but all is not lost. We can still come together, and we can really reintegrate the, 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 the spirit of every Ghanaian, and we can support the, the call as the president used to do, so that we can all minimize our movement. Then we can also minimize gathering. Then we can also minimize political activities that will actually uh, cause other serious uh, health implications. With many offices, I can say almost every office in Ghana has air conditioning. Now, with the new development, it means that with air conditions on, uh, it makes it even quicker for uh, one person to transmit to another. Or even if the virus is in the air, it makes it quicker for somebody to inhale. How do we keep staff safe in this environment? Yeah, Asha, I'm not a virologist. I, I do not have much capacity on that. Right? Whether the air condition can influence uh, the spread of the virus. But what I do know is that an infected person within the workplace can really infect both the surfaces and within the work environment. And that could be very, very dangerous. And so we need to really update our policy guidelines in the fight against COVID-19. WHO is still studying the situation. Uh, you talk about the fact that you're not a virologist, but what do you recommend for Ghana as a country, uh, I mean, in trying to keep our citizens safe? Yeah, I shall, to be honest with you, if, if, if I'm the president, I will ask for a face mask, not a nose mask, in this country. That is the first point that I will say because of this new discovery. I will just ask for a face mask <laughs> so that you can only see not your nose and not your mouth should be out. That is the first one. If I'm the president, I will ask for a suspension of our schools. If only we want to save our children. They can be much controlled at homes than in schools because the teachers are not also safe there. If I'm the president, I will ask for the National Mental Health Authority to roll out their expertise in all the regions and districts to provide psychosocial services. Everybody is anxious. People are getting depressed, including the politicians, including frontline workers. So we will need psychological medicine that can really uh, keep people calm, that will minimize the health workers to make uh, mistakes you see that they are getting in more because they are getting depressed and they are frustrated and they are making mistakes. So they are getting the virus. So that's the implication. So we really need to change a lot of things if only the politicians or for that matter, the president will uh, listen to the plight of Ghana. There's nothing wrong if we can suspend our schools just to make sure that we are safe, we are in control, and then we can get back to school. I'm grateful for your time. Gabriel Benanko is with the Coalition of Health NGOs.